Okay, so now we've got our soldering iron nice and hot. And what I'm going to do next, this is also optional. I'm just going to mark the two solder points on the back of the PCB so I know which ones I have to desolder. So here I have my desoldering pump. And I simply heat up the old solder. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. And one more should do the trick. Okay. The old solder is off. Those two points right there. Next thing I'll do is remove the putty adhesive from the old capacitor. And the old capacitor pops right out. And as you can see the plug on the bottom starting to push out and again the top is more of a dome shape than a flat surface. Let's just clean this up a little more. Now we're ready for the new capacitor. The only thing you want to make sure is you have the negative lead going into the right hole. And that's indicated by the negative symbol right here. Also the black stripe going down the side of the capacitor. It's inserted like so. Flip the board over, push down the leads to the side so that the component is held in place while you solder. Now you're ready to solder. takes a few tries, don't worry. And that looks perfect. There's very small amounts of solder.
and there's my newly soldered capacitor. Almost ready to uh, to be trimmed here. Two solder points right here. Make sure it looks okay. Then we take our little wire snips and cut off the leads. quick and easy and all we have left to do is reassemble the monitor and we will have saved hundreds of dollars possibly unless of course your monitor is still under warranty then you would just have to pay shipping to send back the RMA